Another really nice feature that was added in this update was the ability to have the software automatically split satin stitches once it gets to a certain column width. And the column width is the, the, the edges that are on the side to side for the satin. And uh, the main issue is that when dealing with the satin stitch, once you get to about seven millimeters, um, you run the risk of a satin stitch you know, easily um, snagging uh, on something after it's sewn out. And so when you're working with some, like a, a garment that you're going to wear, it's usually recommended that you don't go over seven millimeters in width. And, and so that you don't run the risk of easily snagging the satin stitch and having it unravel. The other thing that um, causes some issues for a lot of people is a satin stitch can only go so wide before it will not execute as a satin stitch anymore, meaning that once it gets to maybe 12.9 millimeters in width, your machine, um, many machines, will automatically trim between points and basically what that means is you will not get a stitch that goes from point to point it will actually do a trim and many of you have probably experienced that before where you find some holes in your design where it's we're dealing with the satin stitch because the satin stitch has gotten to the point where it's too wide and the and the machine will automatically trim between points and that's what drops those stitches so you can only go so wide on a satin stitch um, before it will not execute anymore either. So this this satin split feature that we added really helps aid into making sure that you don't have satin stitches that are too wide. And so let's take a look at this satin stitch here. I'm going to go into 3D mode. I'm going to come in here and we're going to measure this. You'll see that the width of this, the column on the um, on the left side is 2.3 millimeters and you'll see the width on the right hand side is six millimeters so it doesn't uh, right now this uh, satin stitch is fine and we don't need to split it unless we want to create a split but let's take a look and see I'm gonna zoom out a little bit what happens when I make this satin stitch a little wider and so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I have it selected I'm gonna drag it up and watch what happens here all of a sudden you see these little drop stitches and the reason that they're located right here is because we've reached a seven millimeter width so because it's seven millimeters or wider from this point on it automatically created this split in the satin and the other unique thing about the way that this software does this split is that it actually creates a random split so you can see that it goes when going from this point to this point it drops a stitch right here but then when it comes up to the other one it drops in a different location and it keeps going back and forth at a different location each time instead of making the drop stitch appear in a straight line and the nice thing about this is it gives it a little bit more of a feathered look so it doesn't create a harsh line right here in the split of the satin and uh, just to show you what that would look like is I'm gonna select this uh, satin stitch and let's come over here to our column tab and inside of the column tab you have the ability to control a satin stitch, a split for a satin stitch. Right now it's set at random and that's why they're offset here. Um, if I go to a percent, let's say 50 percent and click apply you will see that now this drop takes place right here and if we sew this out you're gonna see this line and so the feathered look really helps make it, um, or the random, really makes it kind of blend a little bit more. You'll see this in a lot of designs, especially those who create flowers, um, petals, and um, you'll see that they'll often feather the split of a satin stitch. And satin stitches are really um, kind of those stitches that really pop out in the design and so a lot of people like to utilize them as much as possible. Um, the problem is is that a lot of times we try to make them too big and so this the software gives you the ability to to automatically split those up so that you don't get them too large and you do have the opportunity to change the settings and um, for this split satin stitches and 
how you access access that is going to tools on the menu and clicking general options and inside the general options when you go to the machine tab you will see auto split new satins longer than and it gives you the ability to change this amount um, it is recommended by the default in your system will be at seven millimeters wide it'll be right here at seven millimeters if you want to change that you can you can make it ten you can make it um, eight you know you don't want to go above twelve um, and uh, it's kind of up to you on how you want to do it seven is default and the reason it's set at seven is because seven millimeters is usually the widest you really want to go on the items you wear and uh, but you do have the ability to turn it off if you're doing a design and you do want it to um, go from edge to edge and you don't want that to take place you can come the the random split you can come into your columns tab and you can select none and hit apply and it will take that out it's just there's a safety guard and it's a great new feature I'm glad that we have it in there because it makes working with satin stitches so much easier you don't even have to think about it um, it will automatically create the split for you once you get to um, the default setting for the split to take place and it will automatically do it as a random um, split so this is a great fun new feature and um, I hope that you enjoy it as much as we do